So, this is Alex Trebek, and we're here today, a few minutes left in Jeopardy, and we have three contestants today. We have a Republican there. What's your name, sir? Mitt Romney, because I look exactly like Mitt Romney. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> we have a Democrat. Your name, sir? Barack Obama? Of course. Of course you know it's me, Barack Obama. <laughs> and we, we have a third candidate. <laughs> Dr. Jill Stein from the Green Party. Okay. <laughs> now we only have a few minutes left in today's contest. The last category in Jeopardy is climate change. Now for some reason, none of our candidates have been willing to ask the question so far. Now, right now, President Obama has a slight lead. He has $5,900, I guess. Uh, Mr. Romney, $5,800. And the Green Party contestant, Jill Stein, has zero. That's because you never call on me, Alex. I call on whoever pushes the buzzer first. You know the rules, Jill. I, I press and I press that buzzer, usually before my opponents do, but you still ignore me. It's not me. If it's you, just the system. If you allowed me to participate, I would be doing much better in this category. Well, since this is the final category, tell you what. If I call on the other two and they can't answer it, I'll let you have the final question, okay? Really uh, Mr. President, it is your turn. What is your choice? I'll take climate change for 200. Okay, now the question is, the answer is, America's new policy on oil. America's new policy on oil. Mr. Obama, you buzzed. What is drill, baby drill? No, that is the wrong response. Um, Alex, uh, I'm also going to go with what is drill, baby drill. <laughs> Mr. Romney, you can't say the same wrong thing as the Democrats. That's not how Jeopardy works. Well, why not? It was our mantra first. But OK, if you're going to be picky, um, what is? More war for oil. Yeah. Also wrong. Okay. Does the Greens have the correct response? Yes. What is no drilling in the Arctic, no drilling on public lands, in fact, no drilling anywhere, carbon free by 2025? Yeah. Uh, Ms. Stein is correct, Dr. Stein, for 200. So, uh, Dr. Stein, it is your choice. Climate change for 400, Alex. The answer is 350. Mr. Obama. What is the number of electoral votes I won in the last election? No, actually you got 365, not 350. Um, Mr. Roddy, how about the number of millions of dollars that Mr. Obama has raised from his liberal elite friends for his campaign. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Close, but not quite. As of the most recent report in, president, report in period, President Obama had raised $348 million. That's right. Ms. Stein, I guess we'll ask you, can you provide the correct question. Well, yes, I can, Alex. 350, that is, what is the, num the number, according to leading scientists, that we that is the upper limit, uh, that's parts per million of carbon dioxide in our atmosphere, that we have to get back down to in order to stop climate change catastrophe? Correct. <laughs> so it is now Obama 5,300, Romney 5,200, and Stein has 600. Miss Stein, your selection. Climate change for 600. Uh, New Jersey. Obama. 
Mr. Obama, you're not Obama. <laughs> what does the state New York sports team go to to make more money? Yeah! Sorry, that used to be the correct answer, but now New Jersey teens are going to Brooklyn. <laughs> Mr. Obama, don't you even talk to your buddy uh, Jay-Z there about this type of stuff? <laughs> Jay-Z's my dog, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, Mr. Mr. Romney, um, what state has the heaviest governor? <laughs> I love ah! that guy. I love him. <laughs> well, that, that may be true, but that was not the question we were looking for. Okay, uh, how about um, which state is Jimmy Hoffa buried in? Or, uh, oh, I know, I know. Oh, uh, which state is the boss from? Us Us Republicans love Mr. Springsteen, even though we've never actually listened to the lyrics of any of his songs. <laughs> May I remind you that the category oh. is climate change. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. We don't, we don't, we don't like, like talking about climate, climate change. change. I mean, it's, it's like voodoo. The climate change, I mean, look, you know, climate change is a fake category anyway. Uh, <laughs> well, I, um, Mr. Bob, you have any questions, comments about this? Climate change, that's, that's like when you have to take your shirt off when it's too hot, right? Okay, <laughs> Ms. Stein. What state installed the most solar power in the first three months of 2012? That is correct. <laughs> now, we've also had unfortunately oh, taken which state pulled out of the regional greenhouse gas initiative? Um, it does seem that climate change, Ms. Stein, is a topic you know something about. You're up to 1,200. You're Nick's choice. Well, then it's climate change for 800, Alex. Okay. The answer is Bill Clinton and Barack Obama. Obama. I know this one. Okay. I know this one. Who? We're the United States' first two socialist presidents. <laughs> Hardly. Okay, okay, no, I got it, I got it. Who are the two U.S. presidents that Hillary bosses around? <laughs> up top? Up top? Adeline, Adeline, Mr. Romney, uh, Mr. Obama. Who are the two presidential candidates who uh, work the Bush's butt? I mean, uh, beat in the election. Pardon my French. Not, not quite, Mr. Obama. You actually ran against Senator McCain. It just seemed like you were running against President Bush. He's a guy with the R. <laughs> Ms. Stein. Who are the two Democratic presidents who refused to sign the Kyoto International Protocol on climate change and managed to block any international efforts on stemming climate change and did nothing to push legislation to reduce carbon emissions right here in our country. Te technically, we were just looking for the Kyoto Protocol, but I guess we'll accept your answer. See what happens when you allow the Green Party candidates to actually participate in a debate? Open debates are the solution. Let's avoid the editorials, uh, Ms. Stein. Your final choice. Climate change for 1,000, Alex. The answer is oil, natural gas, coal, and nukes. Um, Mr. Obama. The um, question is, what sources do we need as part of our energy solution? No, 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 no. Ron, Mr. Ron. Uh, which uh, energy sources do we need billions more in tax subsidies and, and tax breaks? Still the wrong response. And we should remember that the United States already provides more than 50 billion annually in such subsidy. Ms. Stein. What energy sources do we need to shut down as soon as possible and start putting some money into energy conservation and clean energy like wind and solar? That is the correct answer. And believe it or not, Ms. Stein, you have won. 3,000 to Mr. Obama, 2,900 
and Mr. Romney 2800. The answers on climate change certainly changed this context. Thank you, Alex. See what happens when you allow the Green Party voices to be heard. So let, let's hear for the not ready for prime time players. This is the biased liberal media talking here. That's what this is.